Hey guys, uh, today we're revisiting the interesting project that I did uh, some time ago. I was testing these solar panels uh, in conjunction with um, this a little uh, solar charger version 1.0 and um, it did its job good. I mean, uh, it used the solar cell to charge the, uh, the battery that I salvaged from all the HP or Dell laptop, I can't remember exactly which one was it, and um, I output that power to a little boost converter um, that, you know, uh, I use to charge like um, external batteries or uh, uh, little appliances, and it works very nice, you know, it, it, it delivers, uh, you know, a good amount of power, and I don't have a lot of problems with it except for two minor issues um, one issue was that it didn't have a proper battery protection so a couple times I hooked up some devices and just wasn't around to monitor if the light is on I come back and then I found out the battery is completely drained I mean when I say completely drained it goes down to zero so of course that's not good for the battery it's, it's gonna it's gonna go bad so um, what I figured uh, that it's a good thing this circuit little circuit that's uh, based on uh, CN3065 it's pretty good except for that minor issue you know it um, shows you when it's charging the little uh, light uh, lights up and then when it stops charging it also um, turns on the other LED so in that manner it works fine but uh, as I said the battery protection over uh, discharge is not there so um, I thought about it and I figured out okay let's find something that's um, that's gonna protect these batteries um, there is a probably a circuit that I can buy and put it on and I did find some uh, these this is a strip of uh, how many we got uh, to 10 uh, uh, protection circuits here that are meant for different kind of batteries uh, these are 18650s and basically what you do you run this uh, cross battery here to um, uh, both sides uh, positive and negative uh, it goes the other way around though and then you take the out output from this circuit and this circuit is based uh, around a uh, controller IC that um, you know monitors the voltage and also uh, not only protects from over discharge but also over current and overcharge as well so I'm gonna put a link in the description for the components that are on here um, I'm not gonna put description for the uh, circuits itself because I mean they're pretty generic you just Google um, you know a lithium polymer or lithium ion protection circuit and you know the ton of them will pop up um, I don't want to you know promote anybody or anything um, what I can say though is that what I can say is that a MOSFET that's here that's cutting off current uh, cutting on connection to the battery is STT8205S and the uh, uh, IC that's that's controlling everything is uh, DW01FA uh, I couldn't find um, a, a lot of you know information about it uh, apparently I found a data sheet but it's in Chinese um, you know it's one of those generic uh, protection circuits so um, I'm just gonna slap on this uh, this circuit onto the battery and then I'm gonna take the output and bring it back to um, to the control charger and that way I'm gonna prevent my battery from over discharging anyway uh, let's get on with it so just quickly gonna disconnect this battery from here all right so what I'm gonna do I'm I'm gonna remove these leads that are directly soldered to um, uh, to the battery so I already preheated the, uh, the soldering iron should be fairly easy yep and it was all right and then the other lead all right awesome all right we got that off okay uh, so since this comes on a strip of 10 I'm just gonna cut it off and with the snippers okay and then okay we got one 
And um, while I'm at it, I'm just gonna just gonna cut this off as close as possible. All right, here and here. All right. So my plan is, so this is positive, this is negative, and this is a, a positive battery connection, and this is negative. So I'm just gonna slap on this circuit on top, and then solder it directly to uh, these uh, leads that I was using before. So um, it's gonna be a tiny bit tricky, because I mean, it's a, a big surface, and uh, this, um, Mm, this soldering iron is not that powerful, but I'm, I'm just gonna try to pretend this uh, before I try soldering it to it. Oh, this kind of works nicely. Awesome. Whoa. Sweet. Good. Awesome. Alright, just to make sure that the polarity is right. Whew. These are hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, so this is battery plus. So it's gonna go this way. All right, so I'm just gonna slap this on top, like so, and I'm gonna try to solder it like that. Did that work? Kinda did. Oh, this worked nicely. Oh, the, ah, oh, damn. Okay, this side. Oh, that's too hot. This side worked better. All right, so let's check if we're getting out before I solder the leads. So uh, I should be getting output voltage from these two leads. Okay, let's see. Are we getting that? So first of all, I'm gonna check the battery state. Okay. So the output from the battery is 3.47, okay. Yep, 3.47, okay. And then output from the protection circuit is 3.47. So we successfully put on the protection circuit on top of this battery it's 30 and now I'm just gonna um, connect these leads to it uh, maybe they're too long well not really okay we can we can work with that yeah let's put some extra solder on top of that just okay that's a little bit generous but that's not bad. Okay, that's one lead. And now let's connect the positive. Not the perfect soldering job but it's gonna do and now if I connect it to the circuit back again um, okay so we can see that we're getting the power back so it's feeding the the, uh, the boost converter so that's good as well and also I'm gonna test it out with the, with the battery see if um, you know, it has enough juice to charge the battery all right and as we can see, it's charging. Now I'm gonna try something the other way around. I'm gonna try to um, charge the charge the uh, battery using a circuit and the USB connector. So, let's see. And, yep. It's charging the battery. It's pumping the energy back into it. And let's see, are we getting, it? so remember it was 3.37 
before and now it should be probably should be higher so let's see uh, this way around okay so battery leads we're getting 351 already and at the protection circuit 351 all right so we successfully added the protection circuit to the battery and we tested it out and it's working um, awesome all right so that's that's one way to fix the drawback of uh, this uh, solar charger uh, just slap in an additional protection circuit um, but anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, if you did like this video if you didn't um, wait for the next one maybe you like that one thank you so much have a good one bye bye